here to launch us on this exciting journey is the executive director of the UN Global Compact. And she's going to paint a picture of the new business landscape we're moving toward and how the UN Global Compact plans to lead the way. Please welcome on stage, Ms. Lisa Kingo. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It's great to see you today at the Times Square. It's a bit of a change from the General Assembly Hall yesterday, but I must say I really enjoyed it. I thought it was an amazing afternoon, and thank you to all the great speakers that, that we had uh, yesterday. Absolutely great. Um, today, it will be about rolling up our sleeves, it will be about work, and it will be a day of opportunities. Well, you will find a nice document in your bag that describes a bit on how Global Compact plans to address the SDGs going forward. And what I will be saying now all is in the document. So if you miss something, it's, you, you can catch up afterwards. But let's start with looking at the trends. Uh, one of my favorite philosophers many years ago said, it's hard to predict, particularly about the future. And I think for those that have been working with trends for many years, we know that they have an unpleasant habit of developing into reality. So in looking at all the trends behind me here, if I should pick one, I feel will be really important no matter what going forward. It will be how to handle innovation in addressing the SDGs, which is why we have launched a breakthrough innovation challenge at the Global Compact and I hope that as many of your young people from the companies and of course yourself would be interested in participating in it. So what is the best strategy if we know that many trends will develop into risks or opportunities in the future? Well, we think that we need a positive, energetic approach to addressing the Sustainable Development Goals. It's so positive that we now have a common North Star that we can all follow, and it's a great opportunity for business, civil society, UN, and everyone. But our view is that instead of focusing on the risks, we should focus on the possibilities, the possibilities behind the SDGs. We will hear a little bit later today about the Global Opportunities Report that's very inspiring about all the examples that are already out there with companies that are turning risks into opportunities in the new Sustainia 100 Index. And also, uh, new uh, publications from KPMG in various sectors, the SDG industry matrices are lining out how companies are already beginning to transform risks into opportunities. So that's a very important part of what we will be discussing today. One of the interesting outcomes from the Global Opportunity Report was looking across the world in various geographical sectors on how more than 5,500 business leaders viewed the SDGs. And as you can see behind me, it's very different how various regions pick their top three SDGs. And I think this gives us very important information that we need to make it possible to tailor national 
uh, SDG plans and activities depending on the challenges that are actually out there across the world. So this has been part of the philosophy behind Global Compact's campaign that we, lost, that we launched in February and that we call Making Global Goals Local Business. The idea with this campaign is to create awareness around the SDGs. In our community, we are more than 8,000 companies, but we, we still need to get out to all the 8,000 signatories of the Global Compact. And when we have done that, we need to go out to even more companies because still it's only a fraction of businesses that are aware of the SDGs today, and particularly that are also taking action on the SDGs. So the idea behind this campaign that runs through our more than 80 local networks throughout the world is to create awareness, to inspire, to take action from the SDGs, it is to support uh, national governments in establishing SDG national plans, and it's also to support in creating partnerships at a local level to implement the SDGs. So it's very, very exciting indeed. Of course, the SDGs impact everything that all of us are doing. And I want to convey to you that at the Global Compact, now that we also have the SDGs, it's very important that we continue addressing and complying with the 10 principles of the Global Compact that the initiative was originally founded on, because that's a perfect way of running a responsible business. The sustainable development goals should be seen as new opportunities for business growth and a new way of looking at uh, looking across businesses. One of the things we believe that will also need to change is the way we look at all the themes that are part of the sustainable development goals. So instead of looking at each of them separately, we would have to become more systemic in the way we look at all the different issues. And what we are playing a little bit around with in the compact at the moment is how we can work with systemic platforms around the world we want, the business of tomorrow, which is a new area we have created, healthy planet, also looking into the health and the welfare theme and financing for the SDG, that's a crucially important theme. So we very much hope that you will join us in exploring these new platforms. And they, of course, all have to rest on partnerships that will be the magical formula to really implementing the SDGs across the world. So today, we are inviting all of you to join our journey. We have already lined out what will happen every quarter of the year, so that we together can build guidance for all companies in the world that would like to address the SDGs. I'm not going to take you through all the details now, but I think the, you can see the idea that partnerships for the SDGs, national uh, action plans, the launch of the Breakthrough Innovation Platform will be some of the new themes that we will uh, be launching and adding up to hopefully a very good guidance for companies. So, we are very happy to put our capabilities to use to become a central uh, initiative in monitoring, in 
advocating in reporting the impact around the SDGs, and we invite all of you to join us in this journey. I think the SDGs are still quite new. We are all a little bit in transition, wondering about how exactly we should address them, but I hope that having a clear-cut journey and a plan ahead will help that transition, getting into an action mode right away after this day, and all the good things are already happening. Um, we have many companies today that will illustrate how they have, how you have turned risks into opportunities, so this is already beginning to happen. Now the great challenge is that we have to take this message out to many more companies across the world. So before I leave the floor to Peter Lacey, um, who has been very, who is very instrumental in helping the Global Compact line out our new 2030 strategy that builds on the new Sustainable Development Goals. I just want to encourage you to provide us with input. We have already done one major consultation phase, multi-stakeholder input for our strategy. We will start a new phase uh, uh, during the summer, and you are all very welcome to contribute. And the idea is that we will take our new strategy forward to the new Secretary General by the end of the year, which we are very excited about. Thank you very much for your attention.